In this tutorial, we will be looking at setting up and changing user passwords in Evolution. Passwords are important in any application where data is stored and access needs to be controlled. In this tutorial, we will see how we use Pascal Evolution to assign passwords to users, which are called agents in Evolution. It's a good idea to give unique passwords to individual users, as Evolution can track activity if the need arises. It's important to keep your administrator password very secure, as it gives you full access to all the Evolution functionality, including password control. Access to modules and functions, which is what a user can see and what they can do, is covered in a later tutorial. To set up user password options, log in as admin. Evolution password management can be controlled in various ways. Click on the Pascal Evolution Administration in the System tree and then click on Agents. Click on the Administrator to look at the options available. The password options are located under the Options tab. If the first option, Agent can change password, is unticked, the remaining two options cannot be ticked and password control is fully managed by the Administrator. As an administrator, you will always have full password control, even if a user forgets their password. By ticking Agent can change password, it will allow a user to change their password at will. When you set up a new user, always assign a password to them. The second tick box, Agent must change password at next login, will force a user to change and confirm their password the next time they log in. In the last tick box, agent must change their password after a number of days. You nominate the number of days before users user is forced to change their password, which is a good policy. In this day, in the scroll box, we've selected seven days. If the second and third tick boxes are selected, a user can change their password at will from the Utilities Change Password option, so they do not need to access the Agent Edit screen. This is how you find it. Click on Utilities, Change Password, and you could also see the characters represented in the password by clicking on the Show Password Characters and then Save. To complete this tutorial, I will show you how an administrator can edit a user's password. In this case, I've selected Joe. Under Joe's information, we can see his password and his password hint provided up at the Show Passwords ticked. We can also have a hint for his name. Obviously it would not be so blatant as I've done it here. There are more advanced password options that will be covered in another tutorial related to that. That concludes this tutorial of how to set up and change user passwords. Thank you for your attention.